so yeah so that completes his basket um i thought i put a little egg in here somewhere i don't know where the little egg went if not i will add it i'm gonna put a yellow one in there i think i probably put in the other basket but that is his basket so i know he's gonna love it because it's everything that he wanted and everything that he likes so moving on to the next gift basket this one is for my nephew jeremy um, he loves the Warriors. We are from Oakland, so he loves the Warriors. So I thought what would be fitting for his gift basket is a Warriors lunch pail. So that's what I got. And the reason why I chose my son for this one, by the way, is because I couldn't find a, anything SpongeBob as far as a basket or anything. Any of his themes that he likes, Titanic, Home Alone, I couldn't find one. So I like this one. My daughter showed me the buckets because it is yellow, so it will remind him of SpongeBob. And I knew that a lot of the stuff that I got him from SpongeBob and the stuff that would be in the basket would match with that basket perfectly. But otherwise, I'm hoping for next year to really maybe buy things ahead of time so I can get him a theme Um gift basket instead of just your regular bucket but it is pretty and it matches perfect so no biggie but for my nephew i was able like my daughter carolina um my daughter adriana the sailor moon makeup bag i was able to find this warriors like i said lunch pail from him i don't know if he takes lunch to work but if he ever is on a road trip which he does a lot um he could put some cold some ice packs and some cold stuff in here or lunch or what have you in here and if he does take lunch for work there you go so in his I got so yeah so with my nephew I did have good luck I was able to find something to be his Easter basket that was themed it's something that he loves we are from Oakland um, and so yeah so in his I got this 3d lamp LED um, from Amazon for him if you know my nephew, oh my God, he is all about the LEDs. His whole room is lit up in LED. His TV, under his bed, under his car, he's all about the LED. So I thought this would be really perfect. Plus it's 3D and it says when it lights up, I'm a gamer, game over, something to that effect. So I'm sure he's going to love that one. Another thing I got him. So that one I did get from Amazon, the 3D lamp. This one was in my stockpile, but I did get it from Ross. It's a swivel air vent car mount um, to hold your phone to take pictures or record or just talk without using your hands. Um, so it goes up to 5.5 inches. It rotates 360s, neat organized viewing, protective rubber, um, rubber, 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 rubber size or something to that effect grip. So I know even if he has one, you can always use an extra ones of those. Trust me, if one breaks, you have another one. So I also included, because I wanted to match the bag, was the Blue Sagrams. This is the Calypso Colada. Let's see if you can see it there. And then I added his, his favorite, favorite, um, I'm trying to do this with one hand, favorite, favorite alcohol drink. He's not a huge drinker, but when he does drink, Fireball is his number one. It's a cinnamon whiskey. Um, I was going to get him a mini one, but my daughter found a six pack of these. This is such a nice size. So perfect for him. So I'm giving him three and giving the other three to my son-in-law, which also likes Fireball. So I thought that was perfect. And of course he wins because he gets a Warriors lunch pail. And so I'm happy to give this to him. I can't wait to see him. He is he just has a big place in my heart. I love my nephew. I've always been there for him up front and center, and he's been there for us the same. So I love him. And now that he told me he was coming, um, I just wanted to show him my appreciation, my love by making a basket for him as well. So there you go. That's what he has. So I have one more basket that's for me, and the rest of the baskets are for my daughter for the family. So let's check those out. Okay, so I was able to put the SpongeBob one for my son back together for my youngest daughter, Carolina. So again, that's for her sister, Adriana. That's for her husband, Jacob. And then the rest of the baskets was for me. The big metallic eggs was from her. So if there's anything that we add at the last minute or change, we will definitely do a clip about that. So the rest of the stuff are things that we're taking. This bucket is full of eggs with candy already in it for the Easter egg hunt. We got some extra ones in case my daughter wants to fill some up with stuff at her house. Um, we have some 
we could actually give these as gift. There's some kitchen towels, and we have a bucket full of extra candy if we need them, of extra shimmery eggs if we need them. And then, like I said, this Minecraft bucket was extra for my youngest daughter, Carolina, and her husband, Jacob, just to utilize that Minecraft um, bucket. Ooh, ooh. My nerve is inflamed. It's just going crazy. So yeah, so the stuff on the table is mainly from my daughter and her baskets. And then the extra bucket with the eggs filled with candy for the Easter egg hunt. The bucket with extra candy if we need to fill more eggs. Some towels, maybe I'll give some to my daughter for her home as gifts. Maybe I'll add one into my friend's gift basket. Who knows what I'll do with them and just have one for myself. And on, other than that, on the table, the only thing that's the baskets that were mine was the one that I got from my youngest daughter, Carolina, her husband, Jacob, with the extra Minecraft tin can full of some um, Sagrams and Fireball, and then the gift basket for my friend, Cindy. Um, the rest of my baskets, as you saw, are over there, nice and neat. So I got to go, guys. I hope you loved um, my Easter baskets and what I put in them and hopefully this will help you for either this year or next year and Now we're just gonna go tomorrow to my daughter's house God willing and just celebrate Easter with her. We're having good food um, we're gonna do the Easter egg hunt in the yard and we're just going to enjoy each other, take lots of pictures and videos, of course, to share with you and just have for our memories as well and open our Easter baskets. And I don't have mine yet, so I can't show you that. My daughter's not doing a video. So you'll have to see whatever I get tomorrow at my daughter's house. And we just got our stuff ready to go. And that's it for now. So I really, really, really hope you enjoyed. I wish that I would have been healthy and doing good because this video would have been so much better because you know me i love doing gift baskets for every occasion and i get really into it and i'm very detailed in the videos so i would have been able to take my time i would have been able to you know even possibly get some more stuff if i was able to even squeeze it because like nothing could be squeezed in these baskets but the videos would have did would have been a little bit more relaxed. Um, I would have taken you slowly through each one, and I would have probably had them on the table, so I'm not killing myself here. Um, but I feel so bad because it isn't exactly how I saw myself doing my Easter video for you guys. But hey, I pushed through and we got it done. And I just now just can't wait to go to my daughter's house and enjoy Easter with her. So we're going to take you on that whole journey, though. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy Easter. And in don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. We'll get you heads up on every time I upload a video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And to my next video, take care. So this is the last basket from me to my family. And this one's for my youngest daughter, Carolina, and my son-in-law, Jacob. Um, they actually chose their own basket. I was going to give them one of these because... I couldn't find the theme that I have of the stuff inside. I didn't find a basket in that theme. So I was thinking, okay, I'll get a green theme because everything tends to be green. Or I'll just use this, which has some green in it. I actually have extra buckets, so why not? But they went to the store and they saw this <laughs> and they wanted to keep it for later. So they thought, why not let your mom use this as our basket and we get to keep it. So I thought, okay, if that's what you want, perfect. So I put the stuff that I got for them in there and in there. Let me see if I could try to bring it closer to me. These are two fruit cups, smoothie, <coughs> excuse me smoothie bottles, water um, bottles, whatever you want to call them. They're Minecraft. I'm going to try not to speak too um, loud because they're in the next room behind this TV <coughs> and in case they're awake. But they come in a, in a two-pack, and so the pink will be for her and the green will be for him, but it's from Minecraft, their favorite, favorite um, video game. They're gamers, and so their favorite game is Minecraft. So I found these two pack, and I thought this was perfect. Pink for her, green for him. I got these two from Amazon. Um, and then for, um, they, I also got them 
for Minecraft theme, these two pillowcases. So it came in a one pack, so I had to get another one because I wanted them to have matching pillows. Of course, when you dress your bed, it looks great. And just to know that you each have one is perfect. So these are Minecraft pillowcases. So one for him, one for her. And then I got them these Minecraft pins. So there's like... um six pins in total so three for him three for her they can choose which ones they want they look like they have different designs <coughs> excuse me my throat is really dry but they're minecraft theme so i was going minecraft here and so other than that i got i put a little green egg of course to match um i got her this was in my stockpile it was actually in my um makeup vanity dresser my collection i have a vanity dresser that I have a huge collection of makeup in and I had just bought this palette it's one of my favorite all-time favorite palettes it's Glamistry Beauty Girl Code palette it's by Elena Gant who did um Little Woman of LA and she has her own um cha YouTube channel that I love watching and she did a collaborations and she did her own makeup palette and this has been like I said, one of my all-time favorite palettes is just beautiful. I'll try to put a picture in a corner here if I remember to do so to show you what it actually looked like. Look like. I did do a video on this palette, so you can also go back and check that out. But I'm sure my daughter would love these colors in here. Of course, my daughter loves makeup. She does art makeup on her eyes. She's doing autism awareness looks and she's doing Easter looks. She does holiday theme looks, all kinds of beautiful stuff. So I thought this would be great because Elena is not going to do this palette anymore. So she did, um, it normally is a $40 palette, but she said since she's um, closing out off her company or closing her company down and no longer going to do this palette, she put it on sale from $40 to $10. So I immediately, and she said whatever's left, she's going to give it, don't, donate it, and I thought that was great. But I wanted to get a few since... This is my all-time favorite palette, and I'm not going to be able to get a hold of it anymore. I ordered five of these palettes just to have on hand, and whenever it's done, it's done. I hope she does decide later on to um, do palettes again because... I mean, the names of the shadows and the colors of the shadow and the pigmentation and the quality of it is just very, very amazing. So since I had ordered five, I thought I would include this in my daughter's Easter basket and let her have one of those five. And I actually had six because I already had one of the palettes and I paid 40 for that original one or for that first one because this is the original palette. Um, I decided to give her one so she can have and enjoy as much as I do. So that's in there. There's no makeup for him, so she might as well say she has a little extra gift, but not so, because I'll tell you why. And then I got them their two favorite um, Sagrams. She likes the Jamaican Me Happy, and she likes the Strawberry Daiquiri one. So I got, and they both like the same, so it's one for each of them. And then he got an extra gift by getting the Fireball. So remember I said I got a six-pack, three for my nephew, and I was going to give him three. So it's in here somewhere. Oh, I put in their extra bucket because she said, if stuff don't fit in this Easter basket, here's a Minecraft bucket. She found a Minecraft bucket. So she said you can put the rest in there. Everything was able to fit except... And I didn't really need to use that tin Minecraft tin can, but I wanted to put something in it since she had it. Might as well take use of it. So I put them two extra drinks in there and the extra fireball in there. So there's two fireballs in here, one in there, plus two extra drinks of the same. So that is their Easter basket. And I added this egg. Every Easter basket has to have candy or has to have an egg. So I added that. The rest of the baskets that I'm going to show you are from my daughter. My bad. I actually have one extra gift basket. This is the one that I'm doing for our friend Cindy. So it's kind of just, uh, her theme basket is kind of like, just, what would I name this? Like Doll Me Up Day or Makeup Easter Basket or just um, My Favorite Things Basket. I'll, th I, you know, I'll think of something like what to actually name this, but it has a little bit of everything. It has the two trio um, eyeshadows that I showed you earlier, one neutral, one a little bit more bolder with um, purple and bronzy. She has the vanilla unicorn lotion and it can hold on her purse because it has this hook or it can hold on her pants or what have you. Um, I got her this, um, and this was in my stockpile, these trios, as I mentioned before, this lotion, and I got her this eyebrow 
liner here that's really close to her hair color. Um, and then I got her um, a three pack of little notes, notepads, and then I got her that Betsy Johnson. This was also in my stockpile. It was actually a wallet that I bought sometime last year. I wore it um, one time for like a month. I took very good care of it. It's in perfect condition. I wasn't feeling the floor print, but I was feeling the style of the wallet. So because I left it in perfect condition, I wanted to add that for her. I know she will enjoy that. Um, but in my stockpile was the vanilla, um, unicorn lotion, the two trio palettes, the eyebrow liner, and this right here, the smoothie cup that has the loofah, the nail file, the nail brush cleaner. That was in my stockpile, but brand new. Um, I put a little pink egg to match in there and then I put those um remember those devotional books that I showed you earlier be still and which one is this one be still and take a bubble bath be still and put on your pjs this is the other one I don't know if you guys saw that because I'm far away from this table and I'm trying to show you everything. But you saw it in the earlier clip. And I put those two movies. It was also my stockpiles, Girls Trip and Clueless. And I put the Unicorn uh, makeup brush set right there. And so, yeah, so her Easter basket is complete. I can't wait for her to get it tomorrow. I'm sure she will enjoy that. We just love her and appreciate her. So I definitely wanted to do something for her as well. Normally, I just do for my family, which is my husband, my children, and now son-in-laws are included, and um, my granddaughter. But because my nephew is coming and I, you know, give my nephew gifts, if I'm going into town in the Bay Area to see him, I always bring him something. If I know he's coming, I have something ready for him. I will get him a birthday gift, a Christmas gift, stuff like that. But if he wasn't coming to Easter, then I probably would have got him something a little later whenever we took a trip down to the Bay Area to visit my mother's grave and to visit him. I always bring him something. So I would have I would have got him. I would have got him something. Wouldn't have been on Easter Sunday, but it definitely would have been when I went there. I always do. Um, but I'm glad he's coming. We miss him. We love him. The last time we saw him was at our daughter's wedding. And so... Um, yeah, it was a busy, long day, and he was the videographer. So um, it's also an appreciation to what he did um, for the wedding. But definitely, if he comes, I'll like have his favorite fruit ready, or I'll have a gift for him ready anytime I know he's coming. And if I'm going down there, I'll take him something as well. But so I'm glad. I don't think we've ever spent Easter together. So it's so exciting. Can't wait to see him. So let me show you the rest of these baskets. So this gift basket is from my youngest daughter, Carolina, to her husband, Jacob. So she's got a Star Wars thing going on. I think that this is Star Wars as well, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. She's got a Star Wars glassware set here. And then she's got some good chocolate going on there in like an Easter Bunny shape full of the, what do you call the Ferrero Rocher chocolates. Um, and then she got this spatula like with star wars on it and then she got some star wars straws there so she got a little star wars theme going on so that's for her husband jacob she got this one for her brother alexi's my son um uh, she did find the spongebob tin can um i needed something bigger and i didn't find it in the size that i needed in but i'm glad she found it so he will have a can to put a lot of his stuff in here whether it's um, pencils, markers, or toys, or what have you. He will have a bucket to keep and be really excited about. He will use this bucket too. He This kind of bucket, he will use it to put his toys in. So um, he's going to love it just as much, but I'm glad she did find him a SpongeBob one. He's going to really love it. She got him this Mickey um, Mouse cup because he's into Mickey Mouse cups a lot. So he has this little collection going on. So she found that. So she got that for him. She got him one of these as well. The um, It has a figure stamper with Play-Doh. Play -Doh. And then she got him this Easter activity fun thing. And it con contents is like 20 pages, one sticker sheet, um, and three crayons. It's in like this egg shape. Oh my God. The egg fell out, so I have to put that back, and I have to readjust this. This was hard to readjust. I probably shouldn't have touched that, but I wanted you to see what she got. Then she got him this two-DVD movie collection with the Prince of Egypt and Joseph um, Dreams. Oh, my God. This whole basket just came apart. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to readjust it. I'll fix it, but I wanted to show you guys that. So the last thing in the basket was these 
um, egg-shaped Krabby Patty sliders. Um, again, he loves SpongeBob and anything that has to do with that. And these are the, it's gummy candies, but they're egg-shaped and they're the Krabby Patty sliders. So she got him a whole box of these. So I'm going to fix that. No worries. So then she got her sister this basket. So see, that's why it pays off that because she completely forgot to get the basket for her sister. She's like, God. I'm like, don't worry. That's why we have extra buckets. So she did this bucket for her and I put this egg in and she gave her a trio um, eyeshadow palette and she gave her these um, things that I had in my stockpile. She completely like spaced out on a few things, but she was so into this main theme, which is this cup, this friend's cup right here. Let me see if I could pull this out when I'm messing up. This is from the show Friends. It has a big old cup. Not only can you drink out of this, like hot tea, hot chocolate, what have you, but you can eat soup out of these. So she's going to get a lot of benefits from those. So from my stockpile, I let her have this, which is the trio eyeshadow. The, um, these, what do you call these? They're like clips to hang your clothes, but these, like I was saying earlier, are like magnet, I believe, and my daughter loves that kind of stuff. So um, I said, put it in a basket because that's what it's there for, for whenever we need it. So she gave her two of her favorite Sagrams, um, which is the margarita one. Let's see if I can pull it out. It's the classic line margarita. And then she gave her this, um, I think you put this in your chocolate. What is it? Um, Yan Yan Strawberry Cream. It straws and you put them in your chocolate. It's cracker stick with dip type of thing. And then this was also my stockpile that she put in there. And it's a lavalier mic. So you put a mic, you attach it to your phone, and you could do your YouTube videos or record whatever you want to record. It's a self-shot lavalier mic um, thing. It's an omnidirection microphone, secure lapel clip, all of that stuff. I got that from Ross. And I think I got this from Ross as well, these clips. And then she's got a highlighter makeup there for my stockpile. So all of those are from Dollar Tree. And then she got the egg. The cup she got from Ross. The frames cup she got from Ross. I'm not sure where she got this from. Sagrams is from Walmart. That was from Ross, the mic thing. So, yeah. Oh, my God. This pain is killing me, killing me. Oh, my God. You guys have no idea. Hold on. Okay, so I was able to put the SpongeBob one for my son back together for my youngest daughter, Carolina. So again, that's for her sister, Adriana. That's for her husband, Jacob. And then the rest of the baskets was for me. The big metallic eggs was from her. So if there's anything that we add at the last minute or change, we will definitely do a clip about that. So the rest of the stuff are things that we're taking. This bucket is full of eggs with candy already in it for the Easter egg hunt. We got some extra ones in case my daughter wants to fill some up with stuff at her house. Um, we have some... We could actually give these as gift. There's some kitchen towels and we have a bucket full of extra candy if we need them, of extra shimmery eggs if we need them. And then, like I said, this Minecraft bucket was extra for my youngest daughter, Carolina, and her husband, Jacob, just to utilize that Minecraft um, bucket. Ooh, ooh. My nerve is inflamed. It's just going crazy. So yeah, so the stuff on the table is mainly from my daughter and her baskets. And then the extra bucket with the eggs filled with candy for the Easter egg hunt. The bucket with extra candy if we need to fill more eggs. Some towels, maybe I'll give some to my daughter for her home as gifts. Maybe I'll add one into my friend's gift basket. Who knows what I'll do with them and just have one for myself. And on, other than that, on the table, the only thing that's, the baskets that were mine was the one that I got from my youngest daughter, Carolina, her husband, Jacob, with the extra Minecraft tin can full of some um, Sagrams and Fireball, and then the gift basket for my friend, Cindy. Um, the rest of my baskets, as you saw, are over there, nice and neat. So I got to go, guys. I hope you loved um, my Easter baskets and what I put in them and hopefully this will help you for either this year or next year and Now we're just gonna go tomorrow to my daughter's house God willing and just celebrate Easter with her. We're having good food um, we're gonna do the Easter egg hunt in the yard and 
we're just going to enjoy each other, take lots of pictures and videos, of course, to share with you and just have for our memories as well and open our Easter baskets. And I don't have mine yet, so I can't show you that. My daughter's not doing a video. So you'll have to see whatever I get tomorrow at my daughter's house. And we just got our stuff ready to go. And that's it for now. So I really, really, really hope you enjoyed. I wish that I would have been healthy and doing good because this video would have been so much better. Cause you know me, I love doing gift baskets for every occasion and I get really into it and I'm very detailed in the videos. So I would have been able to take my time. I would have been able to, you know, even possibly get some more stuff if I was able to even squeeze it. Cause like nothing could be squeezed in these baskets, but the videos would have did, would have been a little bit more relaxed. Um, I would have taken you slowly through each one and I would have probably had them on the table. So I'm not killing myself here. Um, but I feel so bad because it isn't exactly how I saw myself doing my Easter video for you guys. But hey, I pushed through and we got it done. And I just now just can't wait to go to my daughter's house and enjoy Easter with her. So we're going to take you on that whole journey, though. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy Easter. And in don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. We'll get you heads up on every time I upload a video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And to my next video, take care.